what's going on everybody well I've seen a lot of videos on how many plants you can put in a raised bed how you don't need as much uh, space in between them when you're growing uh, your plants especially tomato plants and I thought I'd do something different uh, after the farmers market there's a lot of plants that I didn't uh, feel that I wanted to sell they were more like uh, box store plants uh, they were either too leggy uh, the leaves were different color you know had little disease characteristics maybe on them but I figured I'm gonna put some plants all in one raised bed so I put a hundred six inch tomato plants in one raised bed that's right I got a hundred of these in here and I just tossed them in uh, about a week ago I threw them all in here and it's been raining a whole bunch so I haven't really had to water anything but I did put a drip hose in and this is the only watering I'm going to do with this thing and I want to see what happens I want to see if they produce fruit if they just all die if disease is going to take over uh, some of the hundred are laying down some of the hundred are upright uh, there's Roma's beef steak super steak hybrid in here um, maybe a cherry tomato um, some yellow golden yellow tomatoes but this is just a hodgepodge of a hundred tomato plants thrown into this box um, but I'm gonna see what happens and I'll bring you back if it has um, tomatoes on the end if they start producing tomatoes or if they just all die off I'll bring you back in to show you what happens so stand by Well, it's been about a month since I planted all these uh, tomato plants, the, all the leftovers into this uh, one raised bed, over a hundred. And if you look down, I'm actually getting some tomatoes that are ripening. So I think these might have been cherry tomatoes here. Got another one right there. I got a lot of little teeny tiny tomatoes in this thing. Now we've been getting quite a bit of rain. And all I've had on is this little drip soaker here. I might put a little bit more water into it, get a hook up a, a sprayer from there and spray it in. But that's just crazy doing this uh, just from old tomato plants that uh, I didn't feel like selling at the market because I didn't think they were good enough. But they're actually producing some tomatoes. So let's see what happens after uh, another couple weeks and maybe I'll just uh, be able to harvest some tomatoes. Here's shorter than that. All right. Check back in later. Well, I decided to do something with these 100 tomato plants in here. As you can see, I got a couple little ones that I could actually pull today. So, I decided that I'm going to actually add some compost. I got a bunch of compost in my compost bin, and I'm going to have to fill this thing up anyway. One of the great things about gardening is if you change your mind, it's up to you. It's your garden. You can do what you want. So, like I said, I'm going to be filling my uh, 100 uh, tomato plants in a raised bed uh, with compost, add some uh, nutrients to the soil, and maybe they'll even grow bigger. I was sort of amazed they lasted this long. So, first off, I've got to do a little spin on my compost bin. flip it upside down now I gotta go get a little bit better container to stick underneath so that way it doesn't fly all over the place all right so for my compost I've been feeding this thing for the past month or so actually a couple months and it is just coming out this is some good dark thick compost rake in there, rake some of this out. And one nice thing is I even put worms in my compost. And the worms are just going crazy in here. They're loving it. 
I'm not going to empty out all the compost, just most of it. That way I can start filling it up some more. Get all this out of here. Probably just one of these green buckets full. Let me spin it and then I'll show you how much I'm leaving in there. Throw this cardboard back in there. Cardboard uh, deteriorates a little bit slower than paper. And while I'm at it, shoot some water in. So there's my compost bin. The back of the compost is actually a piece of a uh, washer dryer, the dryer section. So there you go. Now I can start filling it some more. Well, before I go and put the compost in, I'm going to go ahead and pull these ripe or almost ripe tomatoes off. Whoop, I just dropped one in the bottom. Now that one's going away. I have to wait on that one. Mm mm. I just have to munch that up here in a second myself. sort of wondering what the compost is going to do to it. There's more over there. I'm just sort of throwing this on. It's crazy how these things are all surviving. But I'm getting tomatoes off of it. So, if I'm getting tomatoes. Might as well keep them alive. Add some compost. I added in a little spray sprinkler system didn't feel like putting drips a full drip system into it but I wanted to give it a little bit more water over the whole thing now next year when I go and plant and uh, I'm gonna probably pull these up throw them back in mix them around at the end of the year let them uh, decompose themselves but next year when I put them in I'm probably gonna have a lot of little tomato starts popping out of here a whole bunch of volunteers um, so I'll just have to deal with that but this has been a sort of fun experiment because I didn't think any of these were gonna grow or they'd all choke each other out really bad uh, I did notice a couple of the tomatoes are not quite as big uh, a couple of the ripe ones I think those were Romas, but that was probably from it being in here and fighting for food. Uh, compost should help it out quite a bit. And I'll bring my hose over in a minute after I get all this compost put in. You just give it a good wetting. That way the compost will uh, mix down and not be all on top of the uh, the plants that are surviving here. That wasn't going to do anything to this bed. But after seeing the couple ripe ones that are in here, I'm just like, no, nah, I got to, I got to. Uh, so far this is crazy. I'm getting ripe tomatoes out of the uh, 100 uh, tomato plants in a raised bed. This is a four foot by two and a half foot raised bed with 100 tomato plants in it. Uh, I'm still curious to see what happens next. 
Let me rinse this thing off really quick. Mm. It's been a couple more weeks and I'm starting to get quite a few tomatoes. A couple of them are ripe. This one looks like it might be a yellow tomato. A lot of these were uh, uh, Romas, but they just didn't get very big. That might be from all the squished together. I do have some dead leaves in here. As you can see, I have some, uh, probably a little bit of disease in here. A few spots. But for the most part, I still got tomatoes. This is wild. Check this one down here a little bit. Now, yeah, that one has uh, some cracking to it. A little bit more cracking on a couple of these. That one's got some cracking to it. But yeah, I'm sort of amazed I'm even getting any tomatoes out of this thing. Have to come in and harvest some and see how they taste. All right, well, it's been another week and I got some more ripe tomatoes. These look like they're cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna start doing a little harvesting. Whoops, dropped one. Make myself a little bit of a, uh, a salsa out of some of these. very tiny tomatoes they almost all look like cherries but I know they're not cherries these are Romas and uh, maybe even a couple beefsteaks but for whatever reason um, they still grew and they actually uh, did a lot quicker than the other plants um, I'm sure they're going to taste just fine. I can tell that the plants are not doing well though. All dying off. Just way too crowded in here, but they are producing. That's surprising. Let's see what we got. So, I think that one's aroma. Well, I could have just composted them, but I'm glad that I did what I did and uh, try it out. There's a teeny tiny one. All right, let's see how she does here in a week or two. But that's a pretty good haul off of 100 tomato plants that weren't supposed to grow. Well, it has been a couple more weeks, and I just wanted to show you what these things were looking like here. Uh, a lot of dead leaves on them. Uh, get in real close. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me exactly what type of uh, disease uh, these things are getting on here just from leaving them. Still getting some tomatoes. They're real small though. They are really small tomatoes here. And like I said, these are not... Uh, cherry tomatoes uh, these are some romas and beefsteaks I think I have a beefsteak back there try to zoom in on it so that's a beefsteak or supposed to be and that looks like it's supposed to be a golden yellow tomato but the ones that were at the very bottom, they are very dead. Let me break and uh, show you what the good tomato plants look like. Now I made sure to keep them very separated. I'm not planning on touching any of these right now because I was just touching some of the uh, 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 diseased ones. But this is what the tomato plants should be looking at around this time of year. We had a very uh, wet June. So our tomatoes uh, 
took a little bit longer right now it's uh, almost the end of August and I'm just starting to get some tomatoes that are turned we had a good rain yesterday probably cut down on the watering a little bit to get some of these to ripen up uh, hopefully these don't split from the extra rain and bring it back around again to the uh, 100 tomato plants in one raised bed all righty bring it back here in a week or so and see how they're doing well it's been another week it's the end of August and these plants are pretty much done for I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the soil in here a little bit and uh, put some cardboard over the top just to make sure it kills all of them off and turn these basically into compost all right so I pulled them all up some of them actually kept the root ball together a little bit which was sort of amazing uh, grounds moist they're getting enough water but uh, they just didn't like being together like that and the diseases that came with it I'm not gonna be able to plant uh, any tomatoes in here probably for a year or two until I make sure that all the uh, diseases and fungus and whatever else that was on these tomato plants is uh, totally dead and won't affect any new crop of tomato plants so I'll probably plant lettuce or something in here uh, next year I got my cardboard made cut out some slots to help it fit in here put it in there and then I'm gonna put down a couple bricks and the bricks will keep them from blowing away if we get a strong wind I'll come in here probably turn it once or twice a month and also uh, keep it nice and wet so that allows it to uh, keep uh, composting inside here well I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a big thumbs up push the subscribe button thanks for watching and have a great day